Alright, hello everybody. My name is Misha. I work for MIT Freight. This is Daniel, recruiting officer at MIT Freight. And today we will show you how to jumpstart a international, an international 2020. We got this truck from the shop and the battery just died overnight. So we'll show you how to at least try. Uh, this is the second time it died on us. So uh, first time we were able to jump it. There is just enough juice uh, in the batteries so to... 10 watts there right now. 10 watts. Yeah, 10, 10 volts. 10 volts. So just enough, just enough juice in there to you know, get the uh, dashboard to light up. But we're gonna use this beautiful Honda. Show you this beautiful Honda. Damn, what year is this Honda? 2014. 2014, a four-cylinder Honda. And we're gonna use it to power up this truck and get it jump started. So, got it hooked up to a terminal, to a negative and positive. Right there, just the regular jump start cables. Now there is enough juice in the battery. There is some juice in the battery, but just not enough to turn over the starter. We're gonna let it sit and build up some average in there. So let's say right now it was uh, 229. So we'll probably give it how, how long? 15 minutes. Give it about 15 minutes and uh, see the results. And we'll keep you posted. Right now the, the truck is saying, hey, it's got some juice. Look at the inside. Yeah, yeah so it's getting, it's getting enough power. It's getting charging power to the battery. So hopefully that will help us out, give us enough power to to turn on the engine. So right now it's, it's what is it, turning two times? Turned over two times, yeah. Turned over two times, so we'll see, we'll give it a few minutes. Dan said about 15 minutes, and we'll see where it's gonna take us. Okay, so it's been roughly 15 minutes. We're gonna try to give it a jump. If that doesn't work, uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of gas in the Honda. Let's do this. Let's let's rev up an engine up to like 3,000 RPMs and keep it steady. And Daniel will start the engine. guys looks like that was a fail uh, 12 uh, 15 minutes is not enough we're gonna give it another 10 minutes another 10 minutes the voltage uh, went from 10 volts to 12 12.2 12 12.2 12 .2, so we're in about 14 because last time I remember when you when you uh, turn the key on it goes from 14 and when it's starting, starting to crank it jumps down to 10 yeah and that's when it was able to start but for some reason, uh, 15 minutes is not enough. So we'll give it another 10 minutes and see what happens. And we'll keep you updated. While we're doing this, uh, we have a, do have a question for you guys. So if you do not know the answer to it, please let us know. There's this little outlet right over there. It looks like a regular extension cord plug. Reverse. That little outlet right there looks like a regular uh, outlet, but the reverse. Yeah. Uh, so if you guys know what that's for, please let us know in the comment below. Uh, our guess is uh, to charge up the batteries with a regular outlet, with a, a regular uh, wire. You just plug it in at your house. But uh, the truck is too far away from the office, from the nearest outlet, for us to try. So if you do know the answer, what, the, what that outlet is for, please let us know. 
Uh, otherwise, we're just waiting for another 10 minutes and see what happens. We'll let it charge up. Last time it worked, but right now it's about 34 degrees outside. It's cold. It's really cold. So uh, we're gonna let it charge up a little bit more and see what happens. So another 10 minutes went by, we're gonna give it a shot again.
dad. Uh, we've been here for about half an hour now and nothing. So we're gonna let it sit for a little bit longer, see if we'll char take charge at all and uh, try again. So we'll wait and see. Okay, giving another try. Right now sitting in the truck, it's too cold outside. Still hooked up to the car. And the uh, dashboard shows 12.4. So we'll wait and see if it's gonna go over 12.5. And if that's gonna help us. Then you're sitting in the car, revving up the engine. Getting the voltage flowing. Uh, give it a shot. Nothing. Well, didn't work out. I guess it's too cold and not enough power. I'm not sure what happened last time. All right, so we couldn't find, uh, we tried to go to a store and get an extra set of jumper cables so we can hook up a separate car, two cars, and try to jumpstart this beast right here. But uh, the store was out of the cables, they didn't have them. But with our luck, we had one of our drivers, Amber, sitting on a parking lot nearby. So she will bring over the truck right now. We'll hook it up to another truck and, and, and try to jump it uh using a, a semi truck so stay tuned i'll keep this video rolling we'll see when ember pulls up we'll hook up the cables and hopefully they will do the job and get the engine started all right so we have our other truck ember the savior is coming she's gonna help us jump start this truck hopefully it's gonna work out i think it should because it has the same amount of batteries as this truck does so it will hopefully put out the same amount of watts that volts, this volts volts, volts that this truck uh, requires because the car does not put out enough for us to jump start this truck so we'll wait she's coming We got ourselves a second set of cables. Let it get up to 14. What's up, Tati? Let it hit 13.4 and then try it. Okay, it's 
playing between point, uh, point three and point two. Yeah, they'll go up. Yes, Amber, she can rev it up. Wait like that for a few seconds, and then you start. Amber. Amber, hit the gas a little bit harder, just a little bit harder. Hit that gas just a little bit harder. You can honk it. Hell yeah! We did it! <laughs> we did it. Alright everyone, so recap for today. For today's uh, video. Finally got the truck started. It took two cables and I believe there were four gauge uh, cables. So two pairs in the truck itself. Uh, the truck itself uh, took us about probably two hours. We thought jump starting a truck with a regular car would work, but it did not. So I ended up, uh, ended up going to the store, getting another set of cables. And luckily Ember, she uh, was able to come by the office and uh, we hooked up cables to her truck and jump started that way. What Daniel did, uh, we got it up to 13.4 volts and only then he was able to jump start the car. So a uh, few attempts, but finally did it. So hopefully that this video uh, works and helps you in the future. Or anyways, that was just a cool experience. You know, first time tried out to jump start a truck uh, using a car and uh, single cable and uh, ended up using a truck and two cables so thanks for watching and uh, do свидания